Okay, so as I try to get all the hockey previews for the playoffs done, the NHL is being kind of mean. And uh, in the midst of discussions that we may see Joel Quenville coming into Florida, which made sense because the way that they worded what they were looking for in a coach made it kind of specific. Uh, as we fire Bob Bugner, um, our goal is to hire a guy with a name that sounds like Mole Swenville. But we can't announce anything yet. So, there you go. Uh, while this is all going on, the Buffalo Sabres have fired Phil Housley, which will cause a lot of celebration in the Buffalo fandom. The interesting thing with Housley is when he was asked, <laughs> oh boy, when he was asked yesterday, he said he was confident he'd be back with the team next season. So that had to be an awkward phone call. Yeah, so hi. Yeah, Phil. Um, yeah, I saw that little press conference. Uh, you're gone. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Um, no, no, uh, that's, I never said that. We were, we were at McDonald's and you miss, you misheard me. No, I, I never said you were coming back. So, whole kidding aside, uh, Phil Housley, you know, I talked this morning about Florida going through coaches like crazy. Buffalo kind of does too. I don't have the numbers in front of me, I don't need them. I know Dan Bilesma wasn't there very long and he was, talked about that he was horrible Housley comes in a lot of good things said about him especially early this year early this year the guy's just a genius right and then as the season went along well the team's falling apart that's because Housley's a moron so coaching is horrible you really get hired to get fired uh it is it is a very thankless job uh Phil Housley to me I have a funny feeling that he may not find a head coaching job right away but I think he'll be brought in as an assistant coach by another team pretty darn quick. I would be very surprised if he doesn't end up an assistant coach. Good example of a guy who works as an assistant coach, I've mentioned this before, is Rick Bonus. Rick Bonus, who as, an, as a head coach, the results have been mixed, but as an, as an assistant coach, does an excellent job. So I would expect to see Phil Housley as an assistant coach. Uh, Glenn Gullitson's another one. Uh, head coaching, there's a mixed bag there. As an assistant, pretty strong record. Um... So yeah, the Buffalo Sabres may be looking for a coach a little bit longer than Florida. You do wonder, like Florida clearly had a plan that Quenville's going to come in. Um, did, does Buffalo have a plan as well? Are we going to see a new coach trucked out uh, for next next week? Um, I think, you know, today's Sunday. I think Monday morning, I think we're going to start seeing new coaches being announced. It's a fun time of year. Not if you're a coach. If you're the guys getting fired, it is not a fun time of year, but as a fan... This is when everything that's old is new again. So as fan, as a fan of the Sabres, starting today, new coach could come in. And we're one coach away from Jack Eichel getting a very unflattering um, name that gets thrown around. And that's Coach Killer. And it's a horrible thing. It really, truly is. I, I mean that. I've seen players get a reputation as being a, a, a coach killer before that I thought it's not his fault. But that's where we end up with this. Um, and, and with Buffalo, they need to hit the next one out of the park. They need the next guy that comes in to run the show has got to have the respect of a Gerard Gallant has to have a really solid pedigree. I would think they'd have to go with an experienced coach. I don't think a, a first time coach is going to work for them. Could Alain Vigneault work here? Could they bring back Lindy Ruff? Like there's a number of ways Buffalo could go with this. It'll be really interesting. By the time this posts, they'll probably be attached to Quenville too. Quenville's just going to coach multiple teams next year. It's going to be magical. Or, here's the other thing. Um, in some cases, we're going to see teams get rid of a coach, and they know who they want, but the coach they want is an assistant who's still in the playoffs. We've seen that previous seasons. We could see that again here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, as always. Where do you think things went wrong for Buffalo? And do you think things this, this is going to make anything better? Or do you think maybe there's a problem with the way the team's made up, the team's comprised, and it wouldn't matter who was coached. Scotty Bowman himself could come out of retirement. He coached in Buffalo before, so let's start that rumor, right? Um, but yeah, uh, could could Scotty Bowman himself not get this team into the playoffs, or was a lot of this to do with Housley? I'd be interested to know your take. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.